everybody. Uh, it's early morning. I'm on my way to the Iron Paradise to hit a set, some strength, some cardio. But I want to talk to you today about the fact that the struggle is real. Early morning workouts, especially when you're starting over again. You know, I, it's been it's been about five weeks since I've been to the Iron Paradise. Um, and there's no real reason why. I just fell out of routine. Um, you know, I've been moved down to, you know, doing more cardio workouts. Um, anywhere from three to four times a week, maybe two to three some weeks. Um, and just fallen into a rut where I've been maintaining my weight loss. And so losing 60 pounds is great. I feel great about it, but I started to maintain my weight loss. And um, when you maintain your weight loss, you start to slip here and there and you start to feel like you can have those indulgences. You can stop for fast food once in a while with the kids and you don't have to pack a salad with you. Or you can go to dinner and order regular food. You don't have to order you know, the salad with dressing on the side and a little bit of steak on top or something like that. You can order a burger. Sure, have a burger. Everyone has a burger. You want a burger? Eat a burger. But it starts to catch up with you and you start to slip more and more and it starts to become your old habits and, and what you gotta do is you gotta catch yourself. No one else is gonna do it for you. You gotta catch yourself and you gotta realize that you're on your way back to the guy you didn't like. You're on your way back to the life you didn't like. And, uh, and you gotta make that change and, and get back on track. And the best thing is when you have success and you hit a goal, you know you can do it. You know you've been there. So I haven't, I haven't gained any weight, but I haven't lost any more weight. And so you lose that rush, that feeling, that motivation after you've been losing weight to keep losing it. So what I've decided to say is forget the fact that I've hit my goal. I'm throwing that goal out. That goal is gone. I set a new goal today. I forgot that I even hit that goal. It's out of my life. And I feel like I'm behind now. That goal is in front of me. And for the last five weeks, I've wasted time when I should have been hitting that goal. So in deciding that yesterday... This morning I set the alarm, or last night I set the alarm for early morning. Decided to get up early, uh, which is not out of routine for me. Early morning workouts were what started this whole success journey for me. Because in the morning, I tell this to people all the time, you're really dumb in the morning. You don't have the brain power to come up with excuses. But there is one problem with the morning. You can put your head back on that pillow, close your eyes, and you can be out like that. And you can quickly make the choice to stay in bed and get that two hours of sleep. Or, think about this, you can make the choice to get up and start your day with energy. Now, it's not going to come right away. I'm not feeling it yet. I'm feeling better right now, but I'm not feeling it yet. After the set is when you get the energy, you get the pump, and you set your Monday up for an extreme amount of fat burning, energy, focused success. That's how I want to spend my Monday. You choose how you want to spend yours. But I'm telling you, this is the way to go. I'm going to get up here, I'm going to do my set, I'm going to feel great, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to tell you if it's worth getting up early or not. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. What's up, guys? I told you I would come back. I told you to tell you if it was worth it. If I should have just stayed in bed. If it wasn't worth getting up early. What do you think? What do you think? Absolutely it was worth it. This was the best 70 minutes I could have spent on my Monday morning. Okay? I feel back. I'm back, baby. I feel great. I feel drive. I feel renewed. I feel like I can get right back in the thick of it. You know, muscle memory, you know, your, your routine memory, all of that starts to kick in. And when you get in that environment that worked for you and you just get in those four walls and you start getting on that equipment that you used to be on and you start driving, all of a sudden you remember where you were. You remember the drive you had and it renews so fast. You know, I'm not looking for a new drive. I wasn't looking for, you know, starting a new routine. I I was looking to get back on the saddle of my old routine. That's all I was looking to do. And I absolutely did it. I feel fantastic. Um, you know, sitting there, I learned a couple of things. I tried to listen to some podcasts. I tried to feed my mind at the same time that I feed my body. I also try to feed my inspiration by listening to some music. So when I do cardio, I listen to podcasts. And when I do strength, I listen to music. So I'm feeding uh, every part of me, which is great. Um, what I learned today is stop hating Mondays. Drop the whole complaining about Mondays. Everybody complains about Mondays. Why do you complain about Monday? Why do we hate Mondays? Well, typically it's because we hate what we do Mondays. So here's my challenge to you. 
What I want you to do is make Mondays your bitch, okay? Now, I haven't decided on the whole swearing thing, so, you know, let's start there and see how this goes. But I want you to make Mondays your bitch. I want you to wake up early on Monday morning, and I want you to spend 10, 20, 30, 40, 60 minutes, whatever you got, Okay, start small, but wake up Monday morning, make it your bitch by spending that your time, my me time, spend it doing something you absolutely love. Look forward to Monday mornings because Monday mornings are when you get to paint, when you get to draw, when you get to, you know, watch that uh, podcast or go on the internet and check something out or, you know, schedule yourself me time Mondays give yourself 20, 30, 40, whatever you got. Get up early, start small, and do it. For me, it's getting in the gym. So every single Monday morning, I'm gonna put me time in there, and I'm gonna get in that gym every single Monday morning, and I'm gonna look forward to Mondays because of it. I'm gonna make Mondays my bitch, and I'm gonna stop complaining. If you complain, and if you waste one out of every seven days that you have, you'll never reach your potential, you'll never hit your highs that you're supposed to hit, and you'll never be what you were supposed to be. One out of seven days counts, people. Don't waste one out of seven days on complaining, on wishing it away, on wishing it were the weekend. Make Mondays part of your weekend. Make Mondays feel like Saturday. And I'm not saying don't go to work. I'm not saying, all I'm saying is, do something in the morning that sets the day up for you for success. I did my workout. I feel fantastic. I got more energy. I think you can hear it in my voice. I'm pumped right now. I'm pumped. Because I made the choice this morning to get up. So was it worth it? Was it worth losing an hour of sleep? Was it worth maybe, you know, feeling a little bit tired and groggy when I got up? Hell yeah, it was worth it. Go out there and make Monday your bitch, people. See ya.